Ever feel a dull ache in your lower back? Maybe a nagging fatigue that just won't quit? These could be warning signs. Your kidneys, those silent heroes working tirelessly behind the scenes, are under attack. Welcome back to the Longevity Deprocess channel. Imagine this, every minute, your kidneys filter a staggering half cup of blood, removing toxins and waste products that would otherwise wreak havoc on your body. But like any overworked and underappreciated hero, they're vulnerable. Kidney damage can be irreversible, silently progressing until it's too late. The scariest part, dialysis or even a transplant might become your only lifeline. Even more alarming, millions walk around with weakened kidneys, completely unaware of the danger lurking within. But fear not, you have the power to fight back. In this video, we'll expose the top six sneaky culprits hiding in your everyday diet. Foods you might never suspect are slowly sabotaging your kidney health. We'll reveal the number one worst offender, a seemingly innocent food that packs a deceptive punch for your kidneys. Spoiler alert, it's not what you think. But wait, there's more. We'll also equip you with strategies to enjoy these foods safely, so you can keep your kidneys strong and your body functioning at its peak. Don't let these silent assassins take down your health. Watch to the end and discover how to become your kidneys' ultimate champion. Number 1. Spinach This cream spinach. <laughs> We've all seen the iconic scene. Popeye the Sailor Man, facing a seemingly insurmountable foe, wolfs down a can of spinach and instantly bulges with newfound strength. But what if the truth about spinach and your kidneys is a little less like a cartoon and a little more complex? Spinach, undeniably is a nutritional powerhouse. Packed with vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants, it's a staple on many healthy eating lists. But beneath that vibrant green surface lies a potential villain for your kidneys, oxalate. This naturally occurring compound, found in high concentrations in spinach, can be problematic if you ingest too much. Oh, a quick favor. We'd greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe and like. This helps the YouTube algorithm recognize the value of our content and share it more widely. Think of it like tiny, microscopic roadblocks that can form into kidney stones, causing excruciating pain and potentially leading to more serious complications. In fact, there have even been rare cases, like the one involving sorrel soup notorious for its oxalate content, where excessive oxalate intake has resulted in kidney failure. Here's the plot twist. The villain isn't as powerful as you might think. Healthy kidneys, for the most part, can handle moderate amounts of oxalate. It's when these tiny roadblocks start accumulating over time, or if your kidneys are already compromised by chronic kidney disease CKD, that problems can arise. For those battling CKD, spinach throws another potential wrench into the works, its high potassium content. While potassium is a vital nutrient, excessive amounts can be harmful for individuals with weakened kidneys. So, does this mean you have to banish spinach to the vegetable graveyard forever? Absolutely not. The key, as always, lies in moderation. Here's the winning formula. Enjoy spinach as part of a balanced diet. Pair it with other low oxalate vegetables like kale, carrots, or zucchini to create a nutritional powerhouse salad. Talk to your doctor about managing your potassium intake. Spinach might still be a possibility, but in smaller, controlled portions. Remember, Knowledge is power. Now that you're armed with the truth about spinach, you can make informed choices to keep your kidneys and your entire body functioning at its best. And who knows, maybe with a little spinach in your diet and a healthy lifestyle, you might just discover your own inner strength, Popeye style. Number two potatoes. Potatoes. Ah, the humble potato. A dietary staple for centuries, a comfort food extraordinaire and the fuel that launched countless French fry-fueled adventures. But for those concerned about kidney health, whispers of danger have begun to sprout. So, are potatoes truly the villain they're cracked up to be? Let's peel back the layers pun intended and examine the evidence. Sweet potatoes often touted as a superfood are indeed packed with essential vitamins, minerals, and amino acids. However, they also pack a punch of potassium, which can be problematic for people with kidney disease. According to the USDA, a regular baked potato boasts a hefty 610 milligrams of potassium, while its orange cousin, the sweet potato, weighs in at around 438 milligrams. A five-foot sweet potato might be a sight to see, 
but let's stick to more realistic sizes. Here's where things get interesting. Unlike that villainous spinach we discussed earlier, potatoes offer a fighting chance. Soaking them in water before cooking can significantly reduce their potassium content. It's like training your spuds to be kidney-friendly warriors. Now, let's talk about those delightful but oh-so-tempting potato snacks, french fries and chips. These crispy devils are loaded with sodium, which puts a strain on your kidneys just like potassium can. A single serving of fries can easily push you over your daily sodium limit, leaving your kidneys feeling like they just ran a marathon. Plus, these processed snacks offer little to no nutritional value. In this case, best to steer clear altogether. So, the verdict on potatoes? Not guilty. With a little know-how and maybe a colander, these versatile tubers can be enjoyed by all. But remember, knowledge is power. If you have any concerns about your kidney health, always consult with your doctor to create a personalized dietary plan that works best for you. And hey, if you're digging this video, smash that like button. It lets us know you want to see more content that helps you navigate the sometimes confusing world of healthy eating. Number 3 Rice The Rice The fluffy foundation of countless cuisines, the dependable sidekick to savory dishes from jambalaya to biryani. But what if this seemingly innocuous grain harbored a hidden threat? A silent attacker on your kidneys? Buckle up, because the truth about rice might surprise you. Rice unfortunately, can be high in arsenic, a heavy metal notorious for its detrimental effects on the kidneys. Chronic exposure to arsenic can lead to a nightmarish scenario for these vital organs acute renal failure and chronic renal insufficiency. In simpler terms, your kidneys could struggle to filter waste products from your blood, leading to a buildup of toxins and a decline in overall function. Let's delve deeper. Raw rice holds a particularly high concentration of the more harmful form of arsenic, inorganic arsenic. Compared to other grains like wheat and barley, which often have indetectable levels of inorganic arsenic, rice can contain a staggering 0.1 to 0.4 mg per kilogram. Rice also acts like a magnet for other heavy metals like cadmium, further amplifying the potential damage. So, should you banish rice from your kitchen forever? Not necessarily. The key lies in moderation. A balanced diet is all about variety, and enjoying rice occasionally won't unleash a tidal wave of heavy metals on your kidneys. However, frequent consumption, especially for young children, is a cause for concern. Children's bodies are far more susceptible to arsenic's effects, absorbing up to three times more of the metal than adults. This can lead to a chilling array of problems stunted brain development, decreased intelligence, and impaired memory. But fear not, rice warriors. There are delicious alternatives waiting to be explored. For a low arsenic swap, consider quinoa, a protein-packed powerhouse. Barley, couscous, buckwheat, millet, farro, and sorghum are all excellent options, offering a delightful textural and flavor variety to your meals. The bottom line? Rice doesn't have to be the villain of your dietary story. Remember, knowledge is power. Now, armed with this information, you can make informed choices to keep your body functioning at its best. Number for butter, a butter. Butter? <laughs> that creamy indulgence that elevates everything from fluffy pancakes to perfectly roasted vegetables. But for those keeping a watchful eye on their kidney health, butter can feel like a forbidden pleasure. So, is butter truly the villain it's sometimes cracked up to be? Let's unwrap the truth, layer by delicious layer. Butter, by its very nature, is high in saturated fat and cholesterol. These components, while undeniably tasty, have been linked to increased blood pressure and the formation of plaque in your arteries. This plaque buildup can be like tiny roadblocks in your circulatory system, making it harder for blood to flow freely, including the blood that nourishes your kidneys. Over time, this reduced blood flow can take a toll on your kidneys' ability to filter waste products from your body. But wait, there's more. Salted butter adds another layer of concern. That delightful sprinkle of salt packs a whopping 643 milligrams per 100 grams a significant amount. Here's the kicker. Store-bought butter often undergoes heavy processing to enhance flavor and extend shelf life. Unfortunately, this process can strip away valuable nutrients like calcium, leaving you with a product that offers minimal nutritional benefits. So, while butter might taste like a flavor explosion, it's not exactly a powerhouse of health. So, does this mean you have to say goodbye to butter forever? Not necessarily. The key, as always, lies in moderation. Here's how to enjoy butter without compromising your kidney health. 
opt for organic, unsalted butter. Organic butter often comes from cows raised without antibiotics or growth hormones, and the lack of added salt makes it a kidney-friendlier choice. Spread the love thinly. Moderation is key. Instead of slathering butter on your toast, use a thin layer to enhance flavor without going overboard. Explore alternatives. Consider swapping butter for heart-healthy options like olive oil or avocado oil for some dishes. Remember, a balanced diet is all about variety. By making informed choices and enjoying butter in moderation, you can still savor its deliciousness without worrying about putting undue stress on your kidneys. Now, go forth and spread the love but maybe a little lighter on the layer. Number 5 Soda Soda, healthy soda. We all know soda can wreak havoc on our teeth, but what about a far more vital organ, your kidneys? These silent warriors work tirelessly behind the scenes, filtering your blood and keeping you healthy. But sugary sodas can be like tiny, fizzy saboteurs putting your kidneys at risk. Here's the shocking truth. Unlike solid foods, sugar in liquid form gets absorbed much faster by your body. This sends your blood sugar levels skyrocketing. Now, healthy kidneys can usually handle this temporary sugar surge by filtering out the excess and sending it out with your urine. But if you have diabetes, this becomes a major problem. Think of those tiny filters in your kidneys, called nephrons, as delicate sieves. High blood sugar, a hallmark of diabetes, can damage these filters and the surrounding blood vessels, making it harder for your kidneys to do their job. But wait, there's more. Many people reach for diet soda as a healthier alternative. Big mistake. Studies show that daily consumption of diet soda is linked to a whopping 67% increased risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Diet sodas might be sugar-free, but they're loaded with artificial sweeteners and other additives that can still harm your kidneys in the long run. Here's the real kicker. Sodas often contain high amounts of phosphorus, added for flavor and to extend shelf life. While phosphorus is a vital nutrient, too much can be detrimental to your kidneys. The problem is, the phosphorus in sodas gets absorbed by your body much more efficiently than phosphorus from natural sources. The National Kidney Foundation recommends a daily limit of 700 mg of phosphorus for normal kidney function. A single can of soda can easily push you closer to or even over that limit. So, what are your kidney-friendly alternatives? Here's the good news. There are plenty of delicious and refreshing options to quench your thirst without harming your health. The simple beverage is the ultimate hydrator and completely kidney-friendly. Add a squeeze of lemon or lime for a hint of flavor. Unsweetened sparkling water with a squeeze of fresh fruit or a splash of 100% fruit juice is a fun and fizzy alternative. Explore the world of herbal teas. They come in a variety of flavors and can be enjoyed hot or cold. Remember, your kidneys are your body's filtration system, and keeping them healthy is crucial for your overall well-being. So. Ditch the soda and embrace these refreshing alternatives. Your taste buds and your kidneys will thank you. Number 6 Dried Fruits <laughs> Yeah, what's up? Did you get the dried fruit? Dried fruits those chewy, concentrated packets of sweetness are often touted as healthy snacks. Dehydrated and packed with nutrients, they seem like a perfect on-the-go option. But for those concerned about kidney health, a question arises, are these tiny titans of taste secretly sabotaging your kidneys? Let's peel back the layers pun intended and see if dried fruits are truly a friend or foe. On the surface, dried fruits appear to be a nutritional powerhouse. The dehydration process concentrates all the good stuff found in fresh fruits, vitamins, minerals, and fiber. However, there's a catch. Water, the very element removed during dehydration, also plays a crucial role in how your body processes these nutrients. Without that water content, dried fruits become a much more concentrated source of sugar and potassium. Take prunes, for example. A single cup of these delightful dried plums packs a whopping 1,270 mg of potassium, according to the USDA. That's almost half of your daily recommended intake. While potassium is a vital nutrient, excessive amounts can be problematic for people with kidney disease. It's like overloading your kidneys' filtration system, making them work extra hard to maintain a healthy balance. But wait, there's more. To make matters worse, some commercially available dried fruits come with unwelcome guest scented sugars and salt. Daily consumption of these sugar and salt-laden dried fruits can be like a constant low-grade stress test for your kidneys. Another hidden danger, portion control. Those tiny, concentrated packets of sweetness are deceptively easy to overeat. 
Unlike their fresh counterparts, dried fruits lack the water content that helps you feel full. You might mindlessly munch on a handful, consuming far more calories and sugar than you intended. So, what's the verdict? Are dried fruits completely off limits? Not necessarily. The key, as always, lies in moderation. Fresh fruits are generally the better choice for kidney health due to their balanced nutrient profile and higher water content. However, if you do crave the occasional dried fruit indulgence, here are some tips. Stick to a small serving size, a quarter cup or less, to avoid overdoing it on sugar and potassium. Look for dried fruits with no added sugars or salt. These might be slightly less sweet, but your kidneys will thank you. Enjoy your dried fruit fix alongside some fresh fruit slices. The added water content will help you feel fuller and make the overall snack more kidney friendly. Remember, knowledge is power. Now that you're armed with the facts about dried fruits, you can make informed choices to keep your kidneys and your taste buds happy. We've just cracked the code on six seemingly innocent foods that can pack a sneaky punch for your kidneys. But the plot thickens, there are more villains lurking in the shadows, disguised as everyday staples. The sodium saboteurs, canned or frozen items, while convenient, often come loaded with hidden sodium. This silent assassin can wreak havoc on your blood pressure, putting undue strain on your kidneys. Processed foods, gamos genetically modified organisms, and even seemingly healthy options like tomato sauce can be sodium culprits. Don't be fooled, always check the labels. The sugar sneakers, concentrated juices and sugary drinks might quench your thirst, but they can leave your kidneys feeling parched for a solution. The concentrated sugar content in these beverages can overwhelm your kidneys' ability to filter waste products from your blood. Remember, water is always the ultimate kidney champion. The moderation mantra, here's the truth, bomb. Most foods, even those on our watch list, aren't inherently bad. The key lies in moderation. Enjoy a moderate serving of potatoes, for example, after soaking them to reduce potassium. Savor a sliver of dark chocolate instead of a whole bar. Balance is your ultimate weapon. Now that you're armed with this intel, you can make informed choices about the foods you put on your plate. Here are some tips to be a kidney champion. Become a label detective. Don't let food labels intimidate you. Learn to decipher them and choose options lower in sodium and sugar. Embrace freshness. Fresh fruits and vegetables are nature's kidney-friendly bounty. They're packed with essential nutrients and naturally lower in sodium and sugar. Cook more at home. When you control the ingredients, you control the health impact. Experiment with fresh, whole foods to create delicious and kidney-friendly meals. Don't fear flavor. Spices and herbs are your allies. They add a burst of flavor without the sodium bomb of processed seasonings. Hydrate like a hero. Water is the ultimate kidney cleanse. Aim for 8 glasses a day, or more if you're active or live in a hot climate. Remember, your kidneys are your body's filtration system, silently working behind the scenes to keep you healthy. By making informed choices and adopting a kidney-friendly lifestyle, you can empower these tireless heroes and safeguard your overall well-being. So, ditch the hidden threats, embrace healthy habits, and become a champion for your kidneys. If you found this video informative or helpful, don't hesitate to explore our Kidney Club playlist for more valuable content. Feel free to share your health journey in the comments section below, as we believe in learning from one another's experiences. Thank you for tuning in, and as always, I extend my best wishes for your continued health, wealth, and happiness. Remember, the key to vitality is in your hands.